Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see investment alternatives. What type of investments are there? Where I can put my investments? So different alternatives if you know you will be investing in a better way. So what are the ways? So very simple and also easy to understand. Most of the topics, most of the things you know you have some idea. So let's see the topic investment alternatives. Mainly the in investment alternatives are divided into two parts. One is direct investment alternatives. Direct investment alternatives means here the investor is directly investing in those organizations. No mediators. I know where I am investing. I know how much return I am going to get. I know what kind of business they are doing it. Everything is I know. Direct investment by the investor. That's we say it as a direct investment alternatives. Direct investment alternatives once again we can divide into two parts. One is fixed return investment. Fixed return. There's no change at all. Every month I get, every year I get, I know how much I have invested and what's the return I'm going to get. That also I have idea. So fixed. No variation. That is fixed return investments. Other one is variable return investment. Variable return means it fluctuates. It depends on the market. It depends on the situation. It depends on the company's profits or loss. Based on that, the return is not consistent. It may variates. Flexibility is there. You can't expect the constant same amount for all the time. So that is why we say it as a variable return investment. Let's focus on the first fixed return investments. Fixed return investments example we can take every month I am going to get so and so return. Where from where I can get? I can get from savings account. If you go to any bank savings account if you open it you will get every month fixed instant fixed amount of return savings account in the same way fixed deposits also government bond if you purchase it there also you are going to get and corporate bonds private bonds and debentures debentures also you you already heard it isn't it whether the company is in loss or profits it doesn't matter but debenture holders will be given the interest as per their investment so these are all fixed irrespective of the company's profits or loss whereas second one variable return investments it variates not consistent no fixed so what kind of investments real estate more flexibility more changes you will find sometimes boom some, sometimes down <laughs> so real estate business returns if you are keeping in a business and mortgages, mortgages also risky always and also commodities. So these are all variable return investments. But one thing remember, it's not fixed. Sometimes there may be loss, sometimes huge profits also possibilities there. It's not that always loss. When they get profits, huge profits, this is nothing. That kind of risk is there. Huge loss or huge, huge profit. Anything is possible. So that's about variable return. So this is about direct investment alternatives. Direct means the customer or the investor is going to invest directly in so and so place. They have very good idea about where they are putting their investment. Direct, no mediators. So in that we have discussed fixed return investments and also variable return investments. Now let's go to the other alternative that is indirect investment alternatives. Indirect investment alternatives means the investor is going to invest in so and so organization but the organization is going to utilize that funds in some other areas. That is why we say it as a indirect investment. I will make you to understand very clearly. Now suppose say uh, in any organization uh, 100 customers they have invested suppose say, 50 crores all together. Or 50 crores is huge amount, no? So 50 lakh, let's say. 50 lakh they have investment, invested. This 100 customers, 50 lakh invest. 50 lakh we are saying it as an indirect investment alternative. Indirect means this 50 lakh, this company is not going to utilize for themselves. They are going to lend this money to some other organization, some other business. Okay? I am a 
I have invested in B company. So B is utilizing this funds for the purpose of some other organization. Customer and organization, and they are using for other organization. Other organization. That is why we are saying indirect investment alternatives. Customer is not in customer or the investor is not having any command over the. organization does not have knowledge leave about the command does not have knowledge just i have kept my investments indirect so what kind of indirect investments are there one is pension and provident fund i can uh, cut some of my salary towards the pension and also pf provident fund also so this amount is utilized for some other purpose but they are going to give you in return some uh, some amount like uh, interest or something will be given consistently this and insurance policy is also you are taking insurance policy every month you are paying every month or every year term policy policy whatever it is there you are paying it but this amount is utilized in some other organizations like this in the same investment company i have invested in uh, suppose say in india so sridam company is there sridam company is famous company i invested in sridam company sridam company is taking the depositors of all the investors and that amount is utilizing in some other areas sometimes real estate sometimes uh, electrical companies and sometimes uh, related to the construction textile different areas cement okay like different areas they are investing these companies we say it as investing companies okay investment companies and also mutual fund units also mutual funds i am keeping my investments So mutual funds, whatever I am keeping, if I am keeping 50 lakh rupees, the 50 lakh is utilizing the uh, company where I have put the invest, put the mutual funds where I purchase the mutual funds. They are going to utilize the money. So these are the ways investing the indirectly. I am investing, but this amount is utilized for some other purpose. That's why we say it as a indirect investment alternatives. Not only this, there are many ways also you can say other investment alternatives. what are the other investment alternatives one is financial assets and real assets financial assets you can invest and also real estate real assets financial assets means you can say uh, finance point of view only related to the um, real estate sorry only related to the stock market or financial institutions so those areas when you put your investment that's called as financial assets example you can take equity shares pension funds whole life insurance bank deposits money market instruments bonds these are all related to the finance companies and stock exchange so that is why we say it as a financial assets other one is real assets real assets means you are keeping your investment on specially building gold silver so this is fixed fixed investment fixed investment we say it as a real assets also so these are also you have to consider before investing and also you you need to know security investment non security investment some investments there will be full security full security means you need not to worry consistent safety i am going to get my return as per my investment whereas non security investment there's no security at all sometimes not leave about the returns leave about the return sometimes you may lose even your investment amount also i kept 5 lakh rupees in non security on that i may get huge amount of returns i may not get sometimes i may lose even the 5 lakh rupees also that's called as non security investment whereas security investment my 5 lakh will be as it is no change it will be always on safe side and also i get the return also so security investment what kind of security investments means you can say deposits in savings account savings account even fixed accounts also you can take say fixed deposits government bonds ppf public provident fund it is safe always and also post office schemes these are the secured investment no doubt though return is less but secured non secured in security investment risk is there high return possibility is there you may lose 
you may lose even your investment also so non security there is no security for this investment example stock market ups and downs mutual funds also like this only real estate gold etfs gold rate also and commodities trading and derivative trading so these are all non security trading am i clear very important concept so before you are going to invest any organization so you need to have all this idea direct investments are this if i go for direct investments fixed return and also variable is this where i can if i want to go for non uh, non direct or indirect so how what kind of possibilities are there what is secured non secured is how much like you need to have good understanding then only you will be able to invest in further organizations further investments you can focus with clarity with clear information am i clear in the coming classes we'll see more topics check out the playlist and don't forget to share this video stay connected good luck